welcome scorpion happy birthday happy birthday to the scorpions happy birthday to all the people in this week we have the sagittarian um coming up on the 20 um second this week is from the 16th until the 22nd i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and let's see what's coming up for you scorpion birthdays people so wonderful alignment of energies um Scorpion and Sagittarian, one Sagittarian. So we're really bothering out and this is going to be good. So ladies and gentlemen, this year is about finding inner strength, dealing with issues. I see regrets that is going to be coming up. Some of you who are married to a um, Aquarian, Gemini or Libran is going to be having some sort of a regret. They're finding out the truth, the truth about a... Um, Taurus, Virgo, and Cap, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man, and in a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. I see truths are coming out. A judgment call is coming down on this lady. This lady needs to pay out a lot of money to some of you. So I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with these people. Now, Sagittarian, you have the energy of the devil. And uh, you're hoping up to a fire sign person, whoever this person is, is in reverse. Um, it could be you ladies are going to be really affected in this year. So Sagittarian, who were born on the 22nd of uh, um, November, you're going to be affected in this year. You're coming in in the reverse form. So what we're seeing is that a lot of you could be having issues with couple secrets with couple. Um, judgment call over money. Um, the king of swords is here. Um, whoever this king of swords is, there was some sort of a competition. The competition is going to be over. Whatever secrets that was there is going to be coming out. People are finding out the truth. And I see, um, you're going to be finding out the truth about a fire sign person. So you could have a fire sign person who is a friend. Some sort of a truth is coming out about this fire sign person. People are really finding out who is this fire sign person and what is going on. Then we see um, some of you who are, if your father is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you're married to this person, you're going to be finding out that this person have a lot of legal issues um, with they and their friends that you're going to be finding out that maybe your father was seeing someone else. Truths are going to be coming out. I see people are going to be finding out truths about their marriage, their relationships. I see they're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man and his wife. So that is going to be coming out. A whole lot of truths is going to be coming out about this man. And I see some of you are going to try to protect yourself. I see love is going to be offered to you because they found out the deceptive play of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man and his wife or his um, side piece chick, the lies that he was cheating on a fire sign woman is also connected. They're going to be finding out that a fire sign woman has not spoken the truth and is dishonest, is a dishonest person. So what a, what, a, what a year. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with these people. So expect to deal with the um, fire sign people between the ages of 18 and 45. Um, the situation with money, people are going to be seeing the truth. Um, about your friends and money, finding inner strength to deal with uh, your mom or your wife that is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. It's a Gemini person, but it could be both. A lot of you could be dealing with issues where some sort of an investigation is taking place, secrets uh, um, uh, that is going on. Okay. So first, let us look at the um, people. Central point is about collaboration. I see um, some of you, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man is going to want to collaborate with you. And I see this woman is coming in and is saying, I'm pretending to be a friend and is saying, hey, we want you on our team. And because they have found out the lies and deceptiveness of a man. And this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Okay. Now, let's look at the people who were born on the 16th of November. Their secrecy in your relationships and there was some struggle pay and that is going to be over. So a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy about a cancer and their partner. Um, some sort of a secrecy as um, that people were um, trying to compete against you. 
and this is going to be over because it's as if some of you are like, yeah, I have no time to compete. I don't have to compete with people. I know who I am and I know what I'm all about. So some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out about a cancer and their partner. Some sort of a secret situation that was being kept from a lot of you. Scorpions is going to be coming out. Some of you Scorpions are going to be realizing that people were trying to work against you and create some sort of a competition. But um, this is going to be um, working out in your favor. So I see whatever um, the competition is and whatever that was going on, I see um, you are going to be, um, you guys could be receiving a new job. I see the competition. I see whatever that was playing out against you guys is going to be over. Um, the secrecy that people think that they had against you or whatever that was transpiring. I see that this is going to be over. Some of you could be buying a house or some of you could be starting your business or some of you are going to be expanding your business. And I see that this is going to be good for you. So congratulations. Not all the time when the moon is here, because you Scorpion bring out the truth um, and see the truth about people that you're in a relationship with and see exactly what is transpiring. And I see um, um, some of you Scorpion is going to be finding out something about a house, but it is going to be good. OK, this house speak of wealth and of happiness. It sings, but it is always don't judge your friends and quick to and the appearance of things okay so be aware of that in this year some of you could be buying a house some of you could be selling a house some of you um could be creating a new business for yourself so um this is powerful as we look at the people who were born under 17 there's a judgment call um judgment call is coming down a lot of information is coming out and there's a judgment call coming down now um the situation with this judgment call has to do with uh, um, if some, some of you it could be your father if your father is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra and uh, your sibling um, or if it's not your sister or brother that is a Aries Leo or Sagittarius between the age of 18 and 45, it could be a friend. Now, whatever the issue and the situation is that is transpiring and is taking place, I see some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming out about a fire sign person. This person is between the age of 18 and 45. It can be a man or a woman. So if this is a sister or a friend, you could be receiving some sort of a news that this person um, is in some sort of a problem um, with, with legal, it is uh, um, that sort of a situation. So information is definitely going to be coming out. So be aware of this. Some of you are going to be finding out that a fire sign tried to run and they're going to be trying to block this person because they realize the deceptiveness of this person and their partner or ex-partner. It's looking like an ex-partner. So for some of you, this could be your ex-partner, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring. It could definitely be your ex-partner. And I see some sort of a legal issues coming down on this person. So I see some changes is coming up. Changes, relocation are um, what the store provides to you. But if he is quite far away, um, the presence of this. So I see changes and relocation is coming up um, for some of you Scorpions who were born on the 17th, but it is in a positive way. There is a negative thing. Some of you who are in a relationship with a fire sign person is going to be leaving this relationship behind in this year. You're going to be realizing that this relationship is no longer serving you and you're going to be uh, walking away from this relationship and leaving this relationship behind you. So be aware of that and be prepared for that. So um, changes is coming up. So you could be moving or you're going to be relocating. You could be changing jobs, that sort of a thing. So be aware. Then we see um, the people who are born under 18. You have the energy of the hangman. Um, you're finally seeing um, that some of you, um, you're... Friends or people around you connected with you only for money. And I see you're finally realizing who these people are. And you're realizing that it was um, only for the money. And that is the reason why um, they are connected. Um, they were connected to you in the first place. It was all about money. 
So you Scorpion that was born on the 18th is going to be realizing that your friends are only um, connecting or was only um, connecting with you because you were financial stable and for the rest uh, um, you're seeing that your friends are all only about the money. So it's going to be a year of uh, revelation where this is uh, going to be, um, you know, you're going to be understanding uh, who your friends are and that these people are only there because of financial stability and nothing else. So I see it can come out good or bad because then you can make some sort of a decision and realize that these people were not meant to be in your life. So I see end of friendship is going to be coming in. And it is good because it's at least you realize and see the people for what they are. Okay. So don't feel, um, uh, feel sad and worried. No, because, um, you are, um, really in alignment with your own energy is as if you scorpions are realizing that people had only friend you for a, a certain reason and it was only because you were financial stable and in this year is as if you're going to be seeing that and making changes and making different uh, changes in your life when it comes on to this so be aware so some sort of a um friendship that you were in that was not based on um friend um um a heart chakra but from a materialistic place it was based from an ego base you're going to be ending this friendship and moving along wow so for the people from the 16th until the 18th there is a lot that is happening and transpiring and a lot of you are going to be dealing with fire sign people so these fire sign people are between the age of 18 and 45 so for some of you is your kids some of you is your partner some of your are your family members um so um you're seeing that secrets is coming out about a friend um that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius they're finding out a lot about this person I see this person wanted to be in competition with you and you're going to be finding out the truth that this person had uh, only connected with you because they wanted to be in some sort of a competition with you and I see um, judgment call is coming down on this person because they're finding out that this person and their partner have a lot of money and just extort people um, in different sort of a way. And I see they are really coming down on these people and really looking at these people to see who they are. And they're, um, it's, it's as if they realize that they and their partner have been extorting people for quite some time. So let's move on. People who are born on the 19th, you have the energy of strength. Strength is here for you guys. And you will find inner strength to get over any financial problem, any um, collaboration that people were collaborating against you. Um, you're going to be finding out some sort of a deceptive play with the queen. Um, um, this person is uh, 45 years and older and is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. You're going to be finding out some really destructive information about this person. Some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming down on this person. <coughs> and this person need to pay a whole lot of money back to some of you, Scorpion. Whoever this person is, is, um, uh, 45 years and older and is a very deceptive person and they're going to be finding out it could be your grandmother for some of you it could be your father and your grandmother has done some sort of a destructiveness that should not have been done um truth judgment call is coming out and there is some truth that is going to be coming out about your father or your parents once your parents is a taurus virgo or a capricorn or a virgo person a Virgo man and a Gemini woman, they're going to be finding out the truth about a Virgo man and a Gemini woman and the lies and deceptiveness of uh, these two people. Truths are coming out because light is going to be shedding on this Virgo man and this Gemini woman and they're going to be finding out that these people are all about the money and not... Um, and um, some of you, it's your parents. Some of you, it's your partner. So if you are married to a Virgo man, you're going to be finding out that this Virgo man had an affair with a Gemini woman. Um, it's all about co collaboration, seeing the collaboration and taking it down. 
So this is basically good for um, you guys who were born on the 19th because it's as if you're going to be having a new start in this year because you realize who this woman is. Some of you are dealing with this woman and it could be a mother, it could be a wife, it could be a, a sister, some sort of a family member. But it also could be a boss, but it's coming up more as a family member and the destructiveness of this person. And I see you're going to be finally making amends and taking an end to um, sending your ground against this lady. So I see this lady is going to be very emotional. Some of you could be emotional because it, maybe it's a family member and that sort of a thing. And you have been dealing with this person. So... Um, it could be coming up that this person is a woman that you are married to or a mother or a mother-in-law. But I see whatever emotional situation you are dealing with this person, it's going to be over. So be aware for that. So congratulations again. Happy birthday. We're moving on to the people who were born on the 20th. I see um, a lot of you who are married to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man, 45 years and older. You're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of this man. Whoever this man is, whether it's your boss, it's coming up as a family member. It can be your husband. It can be your brother. But it's coming up as a family member. And you're going to be finding out how dishonest and deceptive this person is and how destructive this person is and how this person had collaborated with other people in order to create some sort of a problem for you. They are now seeing the lies and deceptiveness of this man and his partner. So it could be a businessman or a family member who had created some sort of an issue, lying and pretending. And people are going to be finding out the truth about this person and who this person is and why this person have done that sort of a destructive behavior. So they're going to be finding out the lies and deceptiveness of a... um. Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man, it could be a businessman, they're going to be realizing that this man has been lying and creating a lot of issues. They're going to be realizing the, the immorality of this man and how this man have uh, um, basically um, took a lot from a whole lot of people that, and being but in a deceptive way and how this man run his business and create his business. And I see that this um, is going to be balanced out because a corporation institution is going to be seeing the deceptiveness and the lies of this man and his partners and the partnership that he runs and how he has misled a whole lot of people in order to get financial stability in his world and how he treats his, um, his employer employees and I see truths is going to be coming out and they're going to be bringing in some sort of a balance to this person okay then we are moving forward and we're looking at uh, um the energy of the hermit the hermit um the energy of the hermit the people who were born and I have to say to you people um who were born um from the the uh, yeah the 17 that you're actually cops people so you have fire energies also in you so if you are really fiery it's because of that okay so people who were born from the 17 going right back until the 21st you are a cops okay so you have more Sagittarian in you and than water, okay? Um, it can be a third uh, or two thirds Sagittarians in you, okay? Um, the hermit, the people who were born on the last, um, the changing of the guards, we call you the changing of the guards. So the people who were born on the twenty first, um, we are seeing the truth. Some sort of information is coming out about your work. And I see love is going to be offered to you. So whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you can see the information that is coming out about your work. And people are really admiring the work that you have done. People are seeing that you're truly gifted with whatever you're doing. And how um, this is really... Um, showing up and I see love is going to be offered to you because they realize that a man has uh, 
lied um so some of you could have had issue with your ex-boss but yet still a company or someone took you on and they're seeing how good you are with your work they're really um you know in um taking an uh, ex uh, um really looking at your work really going through examining your work and seeing how what you have done and see um the it's unbelievable how you have created um you have done good work um i see they're really examining your work and uh, people have uh, like really really um offering you so much love um for what you have done because they realize how good it is so i see peace is going to be coming in whatever is happening and transpiring and how people were treating some of you um pisces i see they're going to be realizing that hey this person um is good at what they do this person is uh um have been um really doing some real good work and this is going to be good uh for a lot of you because this is going to be giving you like a push a boost a push people are going to be um sending people your way because of your work so however that is happening and transpiring i see a lot of people is going to be um really working towards uh, um you know getting people in your corner um they're going to be um they're going to be advising that people go to you um you are the go-to person so this is good um people are really seeing the way you work hard and uh, not only that you work hard but um your work is uh, really um properly um with efficiency um how um you have uh, been um creating um a really powerful alignment of energies for yourself and this is going to be good so change in the guards number 21 whoever is born under 20 1st of November, this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because uh, you are going to be offered and a lot of business is going to be coming your way because people are really seeing your work and how good your work is. A lot of you are going to be showing up uh, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I see an end is coming in to some sort of a destructive situation that they had created for you. So they, whoever this couple is, um, have created some destructiveness uh, in your world and i see judgment call is coming down on them and an end is going to be coming up to them um i see that some of you need to protect yourself you're too open protect yourself don't turn your back to your enemies you need to face your enemies in this year okay face your enemies and this is why i said scorpion always ask for a personalized reading because in a personalized reading you can always be aware of what is coming up in a month and you can advise people um of what to do in a month so you got to um do a personalized reading in order to know um a birthday reading you can also always do a birthday reading even though your birthday has gone you will know what's coming up in december so congratulations okay sagittarius so here we are we're changing from water to energy to fire energy so it's going to be fast speed things are going to be moving fast and fast and fast so let's look at what is happening and transpire so sagittarians you have the energy of the devil um some of you sagittarians people have found out that you have created a huge problem for other people on the work floor um a lot of you sagittarians are having issues at work because of uh, how you um get along with people in your team um and people are really um going to be not working together with you because of how you treat people so however this is coming up sagittarian um the energy of the devil um you need to calm your ego because you're going to be having your ego is like very high in this uh, um year sagittarius but you have to calm your ego especially at work or at the workplace some of you are emotional um because some of you might be looking for a job and not receiving a job a lot of you sagittarius are very very emotional however this is coming up and transpiring 
I see a lot of you Sagittarian or using the egos to, and you don't have to do this because um, Jupiter is coming back in your birth chart. Don't use the ego Sagittarian because this is going to be driving you. This is definitely going to drive you Sagittarian in um, a wrong place. So please don't use your ego. Okay. Some sort of a news is going to be um coming um to you Sagittarian and it's going to be some news of some sort of a peace, some sort of a situation that was transpiring. You could be offering an apology to someone. Um this is definitely what has transpired. It's as if some of you um Sagittarian has used your ego um in the past and uh, um Sagittarian Sagittarian hold on ladies and gentlemen a letter of certain certainly promise a general slot of luck provided it is not um destroyed when the cloud is there so a positive news is going to be coming in hold a moment hold a moment ladies and gentlemen um ladies and gentlemen um who were born oh yeah you you haven't been there so it is scorpion season i thought we went over yeah um that's next week the ophiosis next week is the week of the ophiosis birthday so um not yet you are sagittarian and the 22nd is sagittarian from the 29th until the 17th of december is ophiosis so sagittarian i see you're using your ego in this uh, year and you have to apologize to someone whatever is happening whatever is transpiring um, you definitely have to apologize to someone for something that you have done. So Sagittarius, before you use your ego in this year, be aware of what you're doing because some sort of an apology, um, you have to really apologize to someone. So be aware of this. Okay. So I want to wish you guys a really, really wonderful, wonderful year. Um, and please reach out for a 2020 reading. Okay. You can still do the 2020 reading because that will help you each month. The 2020 reading is based on and is program on who you are and what you, what is going to be affecting you. And then you will have time to realize, uh, um, what is going to be um, affecting you and how this is affecting you. So you have to be aligned with the energies. You have to see exactly um, what is happening and transpiring. And you have to be on top of your game. So this is going to be like powerful. So I want to say um, happy birthday. I got to go. Namaste. I love you guys. Please share, 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 share these readings and enjoy your year. It's going to be a really powerful year for you guys. Be aligned with the energies and make sure that you are um, aligned with the proper energies. I do love you. Namaste. Until next time.